What is up members of my collector core, it is I, Super Mario Zilla, or you can call me Vinny, and today we will be taking a look at the SH Figure Arts Goku Kaioken 18,000 power level version. This figure came completely out of the blue thanks to some collectors finding it at their Walmart and was released earlier than it was supposed to be announced. So yeah, this figure was shadow dropped, whether it was intentional or not, I have no idea. The figure was later officially announced on Bandai's social media pages and was revealed to be exclusive to Target and Walmart. The first ever time I believe in figure arts history that it's a store exclusive to Walmart or Target. That's pretty crazy, and makes for an interesting piece of trivia. Now, this is the second time Goku has been released in Kaioken colors, in the 2.0 mold. And with the key difference, this is a matte finish and not a pearlescent metallic finish. MSRP clocks in at around $36, so that's not a bad price at all. Affordable. A reasonable figure to be a store exclusive sounds pretty cool. Will the figure be worth grabbing even if you have the original figure? Well, let's not waste any more time and see if this figure deserves a spot on your Dragon Ball Z shelf. So the figure is painted in this reddish hue to make him resemble being powered up by the Kaioken. Some parts like the hair and the blue clothing appear more purplish, and the red appears as a deep reddish orange color. It looks nice and blends well together. The face details are not as nice as other newer Dragon Ball releases. He's not as stern looking as newer figures have been looking. Even the updated 2.0 figures or repaints have those new details. So that's a little disappointing. It's not bad looking, I've just ended up spoiled. The sculpt is the same as we've seen before on the figures, namely with Saiyan Raised on Earth Goku. Except for the spiking raised up hair sculpt, that is also reused from the original Kaioken Goku release, and it looks really nice. I love the sculpted streaks in the hair so much. So nothing new is seen here. Also, for those that were a fan of the pearlescent finish on the original figure, that's not here as I've said before. But this new matte finish is not bad at all, and is nice looking. So honestly, whether you like the one finish or the other is entirely up to preference. By the way, I could be wrong, but Goku looks to sport a little bit of shading on his waist area. Wish that was everywhere else. Goku doesn't exactly appear plain, but some more red highlights would have done wonders for this figure. I can't exactly be mad considering the price point, but still. Also, handle this figure with caution. The stomach area has markings for when I was messing with the articulation. I wasn't being rough and handling it with care, but I guess it just happened when I wasn't being careful or left him in a pose for too long. So when handling this figure, just know this can happen to you if you're not careful. I know I said the sculpt is a complete reuse, but this is still a nice sculpt for Goku. Clothes look great, muscles look good, everything appears as it should be and is on par for figure arts. Overall, Goku is not impressive and not winning awards, but is still a nice looking piece. The colors work really well together. Some improvements could have been made, absolutely, but at least the price makes it easier to swallow. Goku's articulation is the exact same as the previous uh, Goku's in this exact mold, so it's nothing too terribly impressive and uh, does show that there needs to be uh, some updates with this mold in parts in particular. So let's go over it. Head is on a ball hinge, and the neck is on a, 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 a ball peg. Can, can look this high up, can look this far down, can lean, of course, and look side to side. Arms are on ball, ball joints, there's a bit of butterfly joint movement, and can wiggle around. These uh, closed shoulder pads are on a, a, a ball joint, but don't really allow for that much more movement. Like Goku's arm can't even still go just about 90 degrees and it goes off at a forward angle. So yeah, that needs to be uh, updated like desperately. Biceps are on the swivel. Double hinged elbows can move just about this far. So that's pretty good. 
ball hinged wrists. There is a ball joint here and here so he could crunch forward. Just about this far. Can crunch backward just about this far as well. Do keep in mind, uh, like I showed you earlier, there is some markings over here for when I was messing around with it. So mess with yours with caution. There is a swivel right here on his tie. Legs, he could kick forward just about this much. He could kick backward just about this much. In terms of the splits, I think he can do the splits, but my legs are being really stiff. They're being really stiff, and I do not want to, to break them. Thighs can swivel. And double hinge knees can move just about this much, so again, that's pretty good. And ball jointed ankles. So I can kick them back just about this far back. I can kick them forward this far forward. And anchor rocker is decent. It is a pretty good anchor rocker. And toes are on a hinge. As I said, Goku's articulation is nothing new. He's still poseable, do not get me wrong. But parts like his legs and his uh, shoulders should really be updated, at least on this mold in particular. Because the shoulder pad clothing like we saw with how it worked on Beast Gohan and Krillin, Earth's Strongest Man. It, it needs the update. It desperately needs the update. And the legs, again, yeah, they can also use a, an update. But articulation is still not bad. It is still okay. You can still get him in poses. So I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying it needs to be, be updated. Goku does not have a lot of accessories, but does come with everything he needs anyway. There's potentially one issue with the accessories, but when you consider this is a cheaper figure, you can understand why. Let's go over everything he has. First, he has a head sculpt with his hair down like the classic Goku look. Same hair color as the default hair sculpt. Both sculpts look great. There's three face plates, so I'll show you what each face looks like on both sculpts. First, a neutral stirred face, an angry teeth gritted face looking off to his right, and a yelling face looking off to his left. Yeah, both faces look in different directions. Whether or not that's a good thing is entirely up to you. It limits posing but opens the possibility for other unique poses so in some ways it can prove helpful, but I prefer my faces looking straight ahead. That's just me though. For his hands, he has two fist hands, next is two martial arts fighting stance hands, and two Kamehameha hands. That's it for his accessories. Unless you have the Tamashi Effect Red Aura. If you don't have it, don't worry, it's still available for MSRP around $25, but that already ups the cost up to $50. So if you don't already have this, it may potentially be a problem for displays. Considering the cheap price, it makes sense why he doesn't have an aura effect or other accessories. So it's not a big deal, but worth pointing out. If you have it already, awesome. If you don't, I'm sorry. Of course, it's possible to pose this figure without the effect. Absolutely it is. So it's not necessary to have this, but it certainly helps to have. Here's a size comparison with other figures you may or may not own. Goku is a standard size for figure arts and standard size for Goku. He scales well with other characters, so he'll make a nice fit for displays and toy photos. Goku scales fine with the rest of the line. So this isn't a bad figure at all, but unnecessary if you have the original figure. Unless you really want the matte finish, that is. Which the finish, people can argue, is better than being pearlescent. You don't need the figure, it's just a cool exclusive figure to have there to be bought in case it entices you. But keep in mind, this is exclusive to Walmart and Target. So if you want this figure, avoid places like eBay and look in your stores. It just came out and I was able to find mine at my Walmart. And honestly, I'm happy with my purchase despite having the original. I have two Kaioken Gokus both in separate displays. If you don't have the original Kaioken Goku release, this figure is absolutely for you and his MSRP is generous, $36. 
Now the figure is nothing impressive. Some things have yet to get the 3.0 update articulation wise, but overall not a bad release. I like it, and maybe you might like it or not. If you manage to find it and need Goku and Kaioken, then I'd say go for it. I'll give the figure a 7.5 out of 10.